everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. I got a chance to see the live action version of The Little Mermaid over the weekend, and I implore you all to get a chance to see it if you haven't seen it yet. This movie was great. I enjoyed myself, I loved it, and personally, I like the live action version of The Little Mermaid more than the original version. In fact, this did exceed my expectations, and honestly, it made me want to watch the movie again. That's how enjoyable it was to me. And the movie has been performing well so far, and a lot of people have been praising it. And I definitely want to warn people about looking at some of the reviews because Deadline actually called out some of the review bombing that's been happening overseas. They pointed out the fact that people from Germany, France, Korea, and China were review bombing the movie all because they don't like the fact that Hallie is playing Ariel. You still have miserable racist people hating on the movie for no reason. But I could tell you from my experience, the movie is fantastic. And so far it's been doing well domestically in the US and also it's been performing great in Mexico, the UK, Italy, Brazil, and Australia. So shout out to them. I'm just gonna kind of give a basic overview of the film and what I thought about it. I thought the performances in this film were amazing. First of all, Hallie's performance in this film was absolutely magical. She captured the essence of Ariel. She captured the sweetness, the inquisitiveness, the self-determination, and the naivete of Ariel. And I have praised Hallie's voice. Of course, her vocal performance was just out of this world. Her version of Part of Your World is definitely better than the original. Nobody can really argue with that. <laughs> and also she sang with so much conviction and so much power. She just did a great job vocally, but I also have to give her credit for her acting chops as well. Even in the moments where she wasn't speaking, she was able to display a range of emotions through her expressions. And that is a sign of a true actress. Also, I thought Jonah King played a really good Prince Eric. I feel like Prince Eric in the live action version had more of a presence than he did in the animated version. You could tell his feelings were more intense and I like the fact that he and Ariel had more scenes together because it added more layers to their connection and it made their chemistry a lot stronger. It was just more believable and he also had a good vocal performance as well. I wanna talk about the other stars in the movie, Ariel's sidekick, Sebastian and Scuttle. Sebastian was voiced by the actor David Diggs and Scuttle was voiced by Aquafina. And I could say the same thing about Sebastian and Scuttle that I said about Prince Eric. I felt like they had a stronger presence in the live action version than they did in the original version. And they both provided a good amount of comic relief. Also, I thought Melissa McCartney, who played the sea witch Ursula, did great as well. I mean, she embodied Ursula's villainous, envious spirit, but she had a humorous side to her that gave me a few chuckles. I thought she really, really, really stood out. And the other villain who was played by Jessica Alexander was absolutely nuts. I mean, she scared me a little bit, but she did shine in the little screen time she had. Like a lot of people got a chance to really shine in this movie. The actor who played King Triton, Javier, played his character to a T. There were new characters and new scenes and geographically, they made the movie take place in a Caribbean setting. And I actually love that because it really opened up the door for more racial and cultural diversity. With all the different trading and exploration that was happening, people from all parts of the world were being drawn to this island. So it was a melting pot. It gave them more of a leeway to make the movie diverse. And it having a Caribbean setting makes sense considering that one of the main stars, Sebastian is Caribbean and two of the standout songs Songs, Under the Sea and Kiss the Girl are Caribbean inspired songs. And plus Ariel has locks. I mean, come on, it just makes sense. And I just love the diversity. Even with Ariel's sisters, the sisters represented the seven different seas and they all came in different races and had different looks. And I do kind of wish they had more of a presence on screen, but I understand that there was only so much they can do because the movie is already two hours long. So <laughs> there's only so many scenes they could add, but 
Overall, I really did like this live action version of The Little Mermaid. When I walked out of the theater, I wanted to watch it again. And it honestly gave me the same feeling I felt when I watched Brandy and Whitney Houston's version of Cinderella. It gave me that exact same feeling because of the amount of inclusion and representation and just the overall good fluffy vibes that I got from it. I just really, really enjoyed this movie. And like I said, it is better than the original version. And this is not to knock the original animated version of The Little Mermaid. I know that it is significant in the Disney movie franchise considering that it ushered in a new era of Disney movie classics in the 90s in particular. So it is very significant, but I will be honest with you, the story of The Little Mermaid is not really the strongest in the Disney franchise. I thought if you compare it to some of the other Disney movie classics like The Lion King and Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast and Mulan, I thought those movies stood out more. And also when you consider all of the classic Disney Pixar movies like Toy Story, Coco, Zootopia, Inside Out, Tangled, Finding Nemo, Monsters Inc. I mean, the list goes on. Those movies had more depth in their storylines and more complexities in their characters than The Little Mermaid. I mean, if you put The Little Mermaid against those other classic Disney movies, it kind of pales in comparison. And this is why I like the live action version so much because I felt like the live action version revamped the story of The Little Mermaid. It gave it more layers and it gave it new life. And also there was new music. I thought musically the film was just more enriching. So it definitely exceeded my expectations. And I was relieved because some of the Disney movie remakes have not been hitting for me. <laughs> the only other live action remake that I really liked was Jungle Book. And now I could add The Little Mermaid to my list. So I'm definitely pleased with it. And if you haven't gotten a chance to see it, please do. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.